Hello, hello, hello. How's it going there, Dr. Dan? Oh, how's it going, David? So, I uh, fixed the pressurization yesterday, so that was a little bit of a pain, but uh, not too bad. I got the conditions set up correctly so that my pressurization is working right. Um, <laughs> I want to further complicate some things. I like my EVA door, but I think what I'm going to do is put an airlock. Um, not an airlock. I'm trying to think of the right way to do this. I want to put some sort of dockable hatch. So I need to do some dockable hatch testing so I can uh, dock to a space station. But we can do that later. Currently I have... Uh, currently I have all the airlocks working. So that is... Uh, that's a plus. It took a little while to get those set up. A uh, bunch of hair pulling to get that done. But uh, we're working pretty well here have my uh, pressurization system going pretty well in here so I have a couple edits to do to try to get this to defunkify make it less funky and fresh uh, what's that you know Ugh. have one have a couple issues here so I raised the doors I didn't really need to do that I don't think but um, I did raise the doors up trying to see what I want to do with lights um, do I put the door back down one is the question I might do that. I'm going to lower this door. If this screws up my pressurization, I know this is part of the problem. Why am I... What? Is this door upside down? I think this door is upside... No, what's upside down? No, that doesn't matter. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to move this door down one. And that's so I can get these uh, barometers and whatnot put back into place where they should go. 
I have lights and everything else that kind of went up here, so. Merge that up. But it was good to get the pressurization system fixed. It's definitely nice to be able to uh, do an add-on on the moon and then just go do that. Let me see. You are good. In here is... There's the barometer right there. So let's see. Where do I want the barometer? We'll put it offset. That's fine. Some of this stuff I like to see. Some of it I don't. Orientation's tough inside a vertical build like this. But making good progress on this. I'd like to get to RCS and get that done. That makes it a little bit more flyable. I can really start testing out some of the systems. And actually trying to get this going. But I... Uh, so I'll kind of show you what I did off screen from yesterday. Doubled up the the pumps in the back. I'm finding there's no real reason for me to pump back into the room. Like, I can get the last little bit of air in there, but that's about it. It's mainly beneficial for me to, you know, using a valve is just as quick. You're pressurizing the air, so the air wants to go from high pressure to low pressure. So your tanks are high pressure, and then it's going to go back into the room. So I have large pump to pump out. I have four medium tanks here and I doubled it up. So they're over here as well. And so that way, even though there's a large, large room, I can uh, open, I can vent it reasonably fast. I also flattened the floor in here. I didn't like that staircase there. So this, there is a little bit of a height here, but it's not really a big thing in, in uh, zero G. And we still walk around in there. It's kind of, you know, zero G. It doesn't really matter uh, which orientation is quote unquote up. I might have to put in a sliding seat. I'm thinking, why is this fucked up here? Why is this like this? Can I raise this door? I don't think I can raise this door. Maybe I can. I don't know. Let's see. Does that? Yeah, that's going to, that's why that's where it is. Okay. That is where it is because of uh, it would hit the ceiling, so that's fine. <clears throat> Put a couple seats in here just to try to get out of them. Uh, let's see what I need. All right, we're pretty good so far. I want to work on RCS. RCS, I've been putting off. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up a set up a test bench. Let's do that. I think a test bench is going to be good for RCS to get it uh, everything orienting correctly. So what I'm actually going to do is I will grab the RCS off of this. And that way it will be identical. Everything will be oriented correctly. And then I can go from there. So, so R RCS orientation, if you ever play Kerbal or a game like that, you know, again, a lot of games fake it. You put an RCS on the on the craft, it just works. Um, Stormworks does not do that. Stormworks is more realistic. You have to orient them correctly. So understanding some of the physics of this, if you have a center of gravity here, the closer to the center of gravity, the point, think of it as having a very short wrench, right? Um, the shorter the wrench, the less torque you're going to have, the more force you're going to have to exert to make it do something. So like, for example, these these pistons are like one block away from the uh, pivot point. So they would have to be incredibly strong in order to push these legs around. If they were way out here, they could be less strong because they'd have a longer lever arm. And so if this is the center of gravity right here, and it will actually go lower as we fill the tanks, and as the tanks, um, as the tanks empty it's going to go higher but as you can see so this rcs thruster is going to have less of an effect than this one because this one has that nice long lever arm you know it's like if you talk about airplanes with a very long tail they can have smaller elevators and rudders because that long arm gives you more torque and so this one here is going to have less effect than these now ideally you would want to put them equidistant from the uh, center of gravity but I'm not going to plumb into these walls here, so I'm doing it all in this power section. Plus, what I want to do is I want to make this, I want to kind of almost think of this modularly. This is going to be the power unit. This is essentially all of the power uh, to make it work. So if I wanted to put a different top on it that allows me to move cargo more efficiently, I could do that. So, so I'm just going to 
uh, we'll go ahead and I'll copy this. It doesn't need to be cut. And I'll put that there. And then I will uh, just actually, you know what we'll do? We will we'll just do that. I just want to check alignment. And this way I can make a quick uh, test stand. And once the test stand's plumbed up, I can just use it. So. Alright, one over. Alright. So it's going to be a lot easier just to make a test stand and get everything kind of functioning the way I need it to. So we'll go center our gravity on this. Alrighty. And uh, let's see. Please be an odd number. Typical it's even. Alright, so I'm going to actually probably drop these down one. Let's drop them down one. Uh, if I have problems with it later, I'll address it later, but I think I should be able to drop the top ones down one. I want them to be an odd number, so. Alright, there we go. So that's 19. Alright, right there. Alright. So that's the center point there. We'll do this. I don't want them going over all the way. A right. uh, little test bench here, and I'll plumb them up, and we'll figure out the logic for this. It's going to be very hard to test this. I'll have to go flying, see how it does it, come back. This is going to allow me to test it, test it, test it, and then uh, move on. So let's save this. RCS test bench. All right, good. How's it going there, Donut King? How's it going there, FS? Yep, to boldly go where no man has gone before. All right, so that is uh, kind of set up. Let's I save that. I did. All right, let's load up. Uh, let's load up the autosave, and I want to grab the RCS controller. That should be the RCS controller, right? All right, RCS control unit. Grab a seat. All right, so I'm trying to remember how I wanted to do this. All right, so we'll start plumbing this up. We'll do it part by part. I didn't get very far, so that's fine. So this one's going to be starboard stern. Uh, this one's going to be port bow. Starboard bow. 
and port's turn. All right. So I have one on there. Let's check what I have on there. Currently doing um, just a one key. So I want to just run these and test them out. All right, so I think, let me try to set up a little bit more com uh, completely what I want to do here. So I'm going to set up uh, up, down, left, right, I think. So we want reset 100%. So this is RCS pitch. <clears throat> and this one will be RCS yaw. RCS yaw. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll do translation on a different setup, so that's fine. All right. So let's get in here and start working on it. So let's see. Four. All right, and this is going to be three. So four is pitch. So we need some thresholds here. So that's one, and then this is going to be negative one, negative one. All right, so that's pitch yaw. All right, so I need to think of the orientation. So pitch is going to be, we'll do port bow. I'm going to have to write them here in a second, but um, try to remember the numbers. Let's update this really quick. I want to check all the numbers out. I had checked these out before, but I'm just going to quickly go through and... I'm going to do a quick orientation on these. So we'll do read on offs, one through four. And we will write on offs. One through four. I'm just going to do one as a test. Okay. And I'll set the seat up so these are just, I want these as pushes. All right. And I need to plumb them up, so. So those are plumbed. Give that a run. All right, so we have one. All right, so one is four down. So let's kind of do a little diagram here. Maybe I'll do it paint so that it's a little bit easier to tell what we're working with here. A little easier to conceptualize sometimes if you put it in paint or something that you can see it. All right, so let's look. So we have uh, strong arrow up and weak arrow 
uh, up. Up and back, up, back, essentially, so. That's uh, not a circle. So let's number these up. So that's one is here. All right. So two is the opposite. I'm just going to change that to white, I think. There we go. Two. Three. And the other one should be four. All right, good. So we have the four uh, directions there, so we can start... Can I click every button that I don't intend to click? Kind of doing fingers out. How's it going there, Citrus? I said hi to Donut King. All right, so we have those oriented, and we know what we're working with there, so that's good. All right, so now we want to kind of get this as a coherent thing where, um, so for pitch, if I want to pitch the nose of the aircraft down, which is the up, on uh, four. So this is pitch the nose of the aircraft um, down. I want to be going, and this is why I have my diagram here. So I want to go two, one. So two and one. So this is going to go. So if I do this, I want to trigger two and one. So let's see. So I'm just going to grab this one. Do X or Y or Z or W or A, B, C, D. Okay. So if I go... One, I want to be triggering. And what we'll do here is. I'm trying to think of a better way to do this. Hmm. I'm trying to think what I want to do here. Converter first. I don't think I do. Interesting. I think I wanted this. We'll do this to start with. Okay, and then that's gonna go like this. Okay, so. All right, so I want to pitch the nose down. So, let's see. Just gonna bring up this. All right, to pitch the nose down, I need a uh, vent two on the top two. So two on the top two. So it would look like that. And then any, any time I want to vent two, I go to this. So that will be two in the top two. So that's going to go to uh, 
uh, what were we talking? So we're talking uh, Port Bow, wherever you went. Port Bow. Okay. And then that would also be um, Starboard Bow. I don't need this big of a boolean. I'll fix it as a, as need be. I definitely know I don't need this big of a boolean, but we'll we'll screw with it later. I just want to have it in there. All right, so that's good. So port and starboard bow look good, and then these need to change. So these are going to go to one, I believe. Let me look. Yeah, those are going to go one. So the sterns are going to go to one. Okay. All right, let's test that really quick. There we go. Okay, good. That moves in the correct direction. Those are all orienting correctly. All right. All right, so let's set up for the other direction, which is negative one. So these booleans, I don't need this big, but we're gonna, we're gonna work with these booleans and then I'll convert them over if I need to. So I shouldn't need it like this. Let's go. Go like that. So. Yeah, I'll figure out how I want to do this later. I just need to think of all the directions first. And so I'm kind of doing this just to think through the directions. All right. So the other way is going to be inverted of this. So if it is um, negative one, negative one is going to trigger that and this okay I'm, i can clean this up later i just don't know what to expect yet so be a little bit cumbersome to start oh, excuse me Let's stay above stay above the terrain all right so there we go so up down arrows So press the up arrow, press the down arrow. We now have pitch control. Very nice. All right, good. So let's work on roll control, which I'm trying to think how I want to do roll control here. All right, so let's see. Next is, uh, let's do yaw. I haven't figured out roll yet, how I want to do roll. So let's work on yaw. Mostly the key combinations I need to figure out. So let's work on the yaw next. And I'm thinking of putting in just a panel in here and doing it by the panel. But we'll see. Instead of doing it on the seat. But I'll have to figure it out. I still have yet to completely decide what I want. All right, so one is, I can't remember which direction's which. Uh, one is gonna be yaw. So essentially what I wanna do is to yaw, if we look at the, we'll look and paint. So like if you say we have, say we have four RCS thrusters, right? We have one, two, three, and four, in order to yaw, let's say this is the nose of the craft, what I need to do is to yaw to the left, I need these two to 
vent forward and these two to vent rearward and that's going to rotate me and so that's what i want so it's going to be uh ports uh in reverse which um is going to be four so ports four and then starboard three so port four starboard three Port is going to be four, star with three. Now, I might have them backwards. I'll fix this if necessary. All right. All right. So, port is going to be uh, node four. Um, where are we? I just port, 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 and port. And starboard's going to be three. So let's get in there. We won't be able to really see this uh, yet. So I have to change this so that it can rotate. Let's do that. Let's cut those two. All right. It's important to me how things control too. All right, so let's uh, try to go left. All right, so I have it backwards, but that's that's yaw control there. So there's pitch and yaw. All right. So part of my control issue here is I, like for example, roll, I don't want it as, I have to do it, that's the thing. The problem is I can't switch the seat from sticky to not sticky easily. Um, so I have to make it, uh, I can essentially um, put a controller in there and that's what I'll do, I'll put a controller in. So we'll go ahead and I will take, so that's pitch roll and then I need, uh, I, think I need all directions, so let's see. I'm just trying to think of this really quickly. Pitch roll. So I still need translation too, which is slide left, right. So what I think I'm going to do is take the throttle for the jet engines and take the throttle for the rocket. And that's going to go on, uh, that will go on keep, uh, that will go on panels. And that will allow me to just completely get rid of those numbers and use them for other things. So I could do roll, translate forward, translate sideways. I'll just do those with buttons because I don't want to touch my WSAD. Uh, what you know, that's a pain. So let's do this, and that's what I'll do. I'll put the throttles on panels. All right. So I don't really need these booleans the way I'm doing it. I've kind of changed my mind on this, but we'll work on that later. All right, so next thing I need to do here is this. is um, So I need to do roll. So that's going to be 1, 2. So 1, 2 is going to be, in order to roll, let me find this again. So in order to roll, I need to do uh, two, 2 port. And one on starboard. Two on port, one on starboard to roll. So let's... Okay, this needs to be inverted too. I need to do... Negative one. Negative one. This was working backwards to what it should be. So that's fixed now. Okay. 
And so let's roll with one. So we, let's say roll left with one. All right. And so I need to do. Okay. So this is where it's going to come in handy here is. I can put the boolean in there. All right. Oh, I'm going to have to redo some of this. I'm starting to figure out what I want to do, though. So, okay, so to roll to the left, I need to do ports. And what port on ports? So let's let's redo this. I know it's a pain, but um, I'll redo it. All right, so I think I had the ticket the first time. So this is going to be the ones. 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 Okay, there's going to be twos. Two. 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 I don't know how the one got rigged up already. Okay. There we go. All right. So that's all my ones. That's all my twos. This is going to be all my threes. Three. 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 And three. This is going to be all my fours. Four. 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 And four. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> So one, two, three, four. That's going to make it a little bit easier to figure this out. All right, good. And then I just need to go through. I'm going to put that um, paint up on the other screen. That will let me conceptualize it without having to go back into the game. How's it going there, Erasmus? What's happening? Yes, yep, it'll be able to translate. That's probably a late question. I probably already answered that, but yep. So it's going to... The way I think I'm going to do it is uh, I'm going to do... Up, down, left, right is going to be pitch yaw. Because I have WSAD pitch yaw, which is a little unconventional. But I don't need to roll much in space. So that's how that's going to happen. And then, uh, so pitch yaw is going to be up, down, left, right. And then I'm going to do roll is one, two. So that way I can have my hands on there. Do pitch yaw roll pretty easily. Then I'm going to do translate... Um, Forward back is going to be 3 4 because I'm going to have to do that to do minor speed corrections. And then 5 6 is going to be translate left right. So, pretty much, I'm only translating left and right when I'm stopped. So, that will, uh, I think that will work out well. And then my throttle is going to go on panels. So, I need to uh, completely rework this. So, that's fine. All right. So, I'm going to th kind of uh, change the way I'm thinking of this for now. All right, good. So let's go back, and I need to fix all this over again. But I can conceptualize it in my head a little bit better now. Um, and so that should be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it's bit like, you know, I'm a visual learner. I need to see it sometimes. So for me, that helps to, like, see it. And that will uh, that makes it a lot easier. All right, so let's see. I want to pitch again. So I want to pitch my nose down. So if I want to pitch my nose down... I need two on, so let's see, this is one. So I need to find two. So stop doing my concealment shit here for a little bit. All right, so I need two. Uh, nope, that's gonna fuck everything up, god damn. Uh, let's see. This is, this is a pain in the ass, I'm telling you. Yeah, this is messed up, man. I'm trying to think of the best way to set this up here, and it's just not that. That's not going to work like that. Actually, that might have worked, and I just probably screwed it up again. Damn it. I'm trying to think. Now, that would have worked. I don't know why I just dicked with it. Let's let's go with the way I had it. It's just uh, I'll play with this. There's gonna be a little bit of frustration for a minute here as I try to figure out how I want this done. So because it's I'm trying to figure out the best, most economical way to do this and not have it screw up. There. Okay. So there there are all the ones selected. Let's do twos again. And if I run into a problem, I'll deal with it then. But. I need it. I just want to keep moving. Sometimes keeping moving is the best thing to do. All right. Two, 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 two. Okay. Two, 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 two. Three, 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 three. Let's try that. I think I can get this to work. 
the way I want it to. And four, 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 four. four. All right. Yeah, I can do it this way. I had a little freak out of my head, and it didn't, and it, it will work fine. So, all right. So for one, if I want to pitch my nose down, I need to trigger. Um, yeah, this is what this is what the issue is. So I need a boolean for each of these, essentially. All right, I kind of see what I need. All right, I don't need the huge booleans either. I can, I'll double them up if need be. I'm, it's just getting complicated here. So, all right, here we go. X or Y or Z or W. All right, and so we're gonna do one of these for each. So we're gonna do kind of a cascade. And we'll cascade these out. I also want this clean so I can go back and fix any problems without losing my mind. So that's always the biggest problem. All right, so we're gonna cascade them out like this. There we go. All right, so cascading like that, and then you can go, that's gonna work, control CV, there we go. Trying to get the gaps perfect. Like this is the sort of stuff that my minds do is like get the gaps perfect, get them aligned correctly, like all that. It just makes it a lot easier for me to think of it. So all right, there we go. Alright, so that's good. That's gonna that's lined up. That's how we need okay, so uh, in order to pitch down, I need to trigger two. So two is here on the nope, that's not the wrong one. I need to um, do my bows. So I need to do two on port bow and starboard bow. Those two need to trigger. That means these need to trigger ones on sterns. So one on stern, stern. That's better. I'm starting to better conceptualize this. All right, next we need yaw, uh, which was backwards essentially. So uh, ports, uh, I need port fours. So port fours, so here's a port four, and here is a port four. Okay, and then this is gonna be uh, star threes, star threes, star three, and star three. Okay, so that should be that. I'm gonna just update this and go test it. Make sure I didn't completely dick it up, so. All dicked up, ba doo doo. So pitching the nose down. Okay, pitching the nose. Pitching the nose down. Okay, that's fucked up already. All right. All right. All right. So that's working. Um, all right. So the the sterns are not working right on pitch. All right, let's fix those. All right, let's see. So if those are twos, ones? Yeah, those should be ones. Why are those not ones? Those should be the ones. Why, why is one not working? On. Stern, stern. Yeah, this, so this should be the two sterns, and that should be the two bows on two. Let's disconnect this. Let's do one at a time. I might be just screwing up and trying to do too much at once here. All right, so think of it again. So press one. I'm going to be doing the two um, bows, bow, bow on two, which is up, or back, rather. Uh, bow, bow. And then this should be uh, one on stern, stern. Okay. Yep. So that should work. Update that. Spawn that. Make sure my seat's still configured correctly. Yep. Okay. There we go. All right. 
I pitch the nose down. Yeah, see my sterns aren't running? Why are my sterns not? My sterns are running backwards, which is weird. Let me look at them in the editor, see if they have them backwards. No. What the hell's going on with my sterns? My sterns should be ones. Why are they not running ones? Interesting. Very interesting. Interesting. Why the hell are the sterns not working right? Let me make sure I plug them in right. Uh, that is port stern. Okay. That is starboard stern. Starboard stern. Bow. And starboard bow. What the frickin' hell, man? Let's get rid of this linkage really quickly here. Having issues here, I don't know why. I'm looking at the connections. The connections look good. Unless I screwed something up that I'm just not seeing. Alright, so I should get two puffs on the back on the uh, back ones on the top and two puffs on the bottom on the bottom. So I'm getting the right puffs there, but now when I press the down arrow, it should be doing puffs up on the back. It's doing the opposite. So why the Christ is it doing that? Interesting. I just had this working. Yeah, so see, this is... That's backwards. It's funky. Funky as hell. It's funky fresh, man. Oh, I think I know what I'm doing. I think I know what I did wrong. Okay, I know what I did wrong. All right, I've got it. So this needs to be here. Okay, that's there. All right, that's what I screwed up. I got it. Okay. And then this one will be the opposite. So I've got it now. All right. There we go. All right. There we go. That's what I did wrong. All right. Trying to trying to think of six dimen three dimensional space here. Six dimensional three dimensional space here in a two dimensional test stand. So pitch. There we go. All right. That's what I screwed up. All right. There we go. That's working now. All right. Good. We're in business now. Thinking too far ahead, too, which is not helpful. All right, good. All right, so the next thing we want to do is I want to rotate to the left, which is uh, this. So I want to rotate to the left. So in order to rotate to the left, I need my two ports to vent four. So port and port I need to vent four. So that needs to go four. And that, where is port? Four, four. Okay. And that means that I need starboard to go 3-3. Three, three. So starboards need to go 3-3. Three, three. So 3-3. Three, three. And then this uh, will be the opposite. So uh, that is... So to go the opposite, what's there? That's 4 for that. So that needs to be 3 three and where's the other fours where are my threes here threes are the starboard so I need to go <clears throat> oh wow I'm really losing my mind now Did I just screw this one up Undo that really quickly. All right, so to go to the left, I need ports four. So we port, port four, port, port four, three, three. So starboard now needs to be four, four. Starboard needs to be four, four. And port needs to be three, three. Port needs to be three, three. All right. And put a rotation linkage back in here. The exciting uh, testing phase. Little Lauren acid rain in the ear.
you know, part of the reason I'm taking a little extra time on this is uh, the testing takes a long time. I could launch from the moon too, which would speed the testing up. So it's like, it takes a long time to get the rockets to launch. So it's, I really want to get them figured out here on the ground. Cause it's, uh, if I have to launch it and then it takes five minutes to get up and then, all right, so there's pitch, pitch still good. Let's roll to the, um, let's try to get it out of line. Let's roll to the right. Ha <laughs> you suck. All right. All right, that's screwed up. So roll to the right is, I need to fix the um, port side. Yeah, roll to the right, I'll fix the port side. Let's screw it up. Let's try, I thought, oh, you know what it was when I backed up? This is screwy, let's try negative one. No, let's not do that. All right, so I need to check something really quick. So update this. I always forget which direction yaw is. So I'll check chat in a second. I'm just trying to, if I lose my train of thought in this, it's going to be pain. So let's see. Uh, I completely forgot how to play this game. There we go. Uh, left, right. Left, right, right there. All right. So I'm just going to check the number. I think it's negative one for yaw. So to the left is negative one. Okay, to the left is negative one. All right, so we'll make this to the left, negative one. Negative one, we'll make that one, one. Okay. All right. All right, so we'll start over again on yaw. All right, so I want to go to the left. So if I want to go left, I need to have port go backwards. Backwards is four. So port, four, four, and four. And I need to have, make sure that's, okay, good. And I need to have the starboard go forward, which is three. So three and three, okay. As you can see why I've been putting off doing this because it's a pain in the ass. I didn't set my pivot up correctly, so that's not going to rotate properly. There we go. Okay. Left, 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 right. Right. And so one way you can uh, do less power is like these are doubled. If you don't want as much or fast, you just do one set. So I'm doing one set on yaw. We'll see if that's going to be enough. All right. So next we need to do is roll. All right. Good. So we're making progress. So if you need less power, just do one set. But, um, you know, that's not going to move you properly. So actually, we'll do two sets. Um, so what I need to do, then go through is do these uh, backwards here. So. All right, so uh, the problem is you're going to drift if you just do one set. So we'll do two sets. So this is going to be... So that is... Uh, so that is there. And so I need to do three here and here. That is three. So I need to do four here and here. All right, let's update that. We'll do one at a time. I'm not going to jump the gun and go to roll yet until I get this perfected. Trying to get each axis perfected and then go move on. All right, so we're doing doubles here. Fuck, I fucked it up again. Not right now, buddy. I dicked that up again. Awesome. 
All right, so coming left, I see where I dicked it up, so I'm just going to copy these. I see where I dicked it up, so I'll fix it. All right, so to come left, I need ports to go for port. Uh, port, and I need starboard to go three. Three. All right, and so let's just run with that, and then I'm going to go. We'll do the other side or the other direction after I test this one out. <clears throat> nope. How the hell do I keep fucking that up? So to go left, ports work and starboard's not. Okay. All right, why is starboard dicked up here? Starboard. Starboard should be fucking three. Why is it not working? Oh, it sucks so bad. It's starting to aggravate me. Alright. So if I want to go left, which I fucking do, uh, I want port four. 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 At the same time, starboard should be burning three. So it should be starboard bow should go three, which is plugged into goddamn three. And it should go starboard, which is plugged into three. Why is that not going? That's part of the problem. Okay. So port needs to be, port needs to be four. Starboard needs to be three. Port needs to be four. Starboard needs to be three. Go test this and pull my hair out. <laughs> what a fucking planet. Why? I'm trying to scratch my head trying to figure this out here. All right, so four is up. So port should be up, up. Three is down, down, down. Why in the Christ is that not working? So it should be four port, three starboard. Why is it not working? So it should be port. Should be four, which this is freaking four, man. Port four. And starboard three. Why is that? Why is starboard running? See, starboard's running four as well. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Starboard should be three. Let's get rid of the starboards for now. Let's just run that as a two layer there. So let's test out fours. And then I'm going to actually hook these up to threes right here on starboard. And I want to test those out to why these are rocking funny. Negative one, one. Okay. This is starting to get on my nerves. Okay. Let's go left. Go right. See, it works like this. Why isn't it working together? This is going to translate. This is going to cause me to translate funny if I don't blow both of them. Because what will happen is it's going to also slide me sideways if I just do one and not both. So, like, I'm pressing left, right, left, right. But what should be happening is as I press left, it should be giving me down and then up on the other side. So, why? So, and that's what I was hooking up. So, I don't get what the hell's going on here okay so like right here what where these are connected I should be able to connect this in there and have it do the exact same damn thing with one button and that's what's bugging the hell out of me see now it's doing this it's literally the same connection
Let's just let's just do this. I don't know why it's doing that. For the life of me, I don't know why. Let's just do that. I don't know why it would be that though, but we'll do it. See if it works. Does not make any sense to me why it would be like that. But it works. I don't know why. Okay. Whatever. I'm not going to try to figure it out. Yeah, see, they're all running into fours now. I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense to me to run all fours. Uh, You know what it was? It's probably the goddamn inversion. It's probably the inversion that dicked it up. I bet you that's what it is. I bet you it's the inversion screwed it up. Yeah, that's what it is. They're not oriented the same way. Okay. Uh, it's the inversion screwy. That's why. Okay. All right, I get it why it's doing that. It's not my favorite, but we'll run with it the way it is. I get what it's doing. Okay, good. So this should be fixed. So if we look at the side of it here, their face. See, it's when they got when they got copied on the other side. I think that's what dicked them up. So, all right. No wonder it's confused if it got inverted. It's gonna have an, one inverted axis essentially. So, all right, the left. So the reason why I need all four going is it's gonna try to push me. Like if I just did the left side, it's gonna try to push me diagonally away. So it's gonna rotate me, but it's also gonna push me away from the station. By doing it this way, it's gonna. The left ones are going to try to push me to the right, and the right ones are going to try to push me left. They're going to cancel each other out, and it's just going to give me a clean yaw. And there's roll, clean roll, clean yaw. Okay, there we go. All right, so there we go. Let's work on roll now. Might have to go through the same rigmarole with roll. Giggity. But um, I'll figure it out. All right, so next we need to figure out uh, roll. So roll is going to be, um, why do I have this like this? One, two. So one is going to be roll left. So let's see. So if one is roll left, I need ports to go down two. So I need two on ports. So there's two and two. And then two is going to be roll right. Uh, let's do all four of them and not dick around here. All right, so two and then one. So I need ones, one, on starboard rather. Uh, starboard, starboard, starboard. Okay. So that's roll left. And then roll right, I'm going to need starboard to go on. Uh, there's, uh, let's see. That's right. Okay. Starboard, I want to roll to the right. So I need um, starboard to be twos. And I need ports to be ones. All right, like that. All right. You see, this is getting becoming my nightmare. We're getting close to being done with this, too, which is good. All right. So we're going to want to roll. Uh, I don't have any roll ability on this yet. Let's put in a pivot. Roll this sucker out. Inevitably, something will be wrong because of the inversion. Why well, some of the stuff it's better not to put symmetry on when you put on. So that's part of my issue. All right, and I got uh, it's not connected, fucker. So there we go. That'll, that'll work better like that when it's actually connected. There we go. Look at that on the first. Is it rolling the correct direction? Yeah. And there's my roll. So there's roll, pitch, yaw. It's pretty intuitive, so I can, uh, like, I'm going to try to straighten it back up the way it was, so.
There we go. Pretty intuitive. Okay, good. So that's going well, mercifully. All right, let's work on uh, three and four. Is going to be translate forward back. All right, so three is going to be translate is going to be forward. So I need all uh, threes. Now this is when it could get screwed up. So I need to check this because uh, the inversion. So I'm going to try all threes and see if it miraculously works or if it's going to be an absolute pain in the ass. Um, and then at the same, yeah, so that's going to be all threes. Four should be all um, fours. All right. And so this is going to allow us to do fine speed control. Okay, so three should be forward. Nope, oh, you sucker. All right. Uh, that's part of the inversion problem, so I expected that to be dicked up. All right, so... That is inverted, and that's why that's not working right. All right. So. All right, so let's run uh, three on the ports, and I'm just going to check them, and it might be four on the starboards. Okay, so so that is good. Four, uh, so that's good. So that is working, and so it should be four on the starboards because it's the inverted problem. Right, and four on starboards. And then that gets flipped. So this is now going to be three on the starboards. And it's going to be four on the ports. Did I just hook that up right? I did not. Uh, that's four done. Okay, so that's going to be three in the starboards. And then four in the ports. Alright. So that's translate forward back. Okay, three. Why is it rotating it? A little bit of torque, I think. Okay. It has no place to go, so it's having to act somewhere. Okay, good. So that's working. All right, now I need translate. Um, trying to think of the best way to do translate. This is going to be a pain to do this one. I might have to add extra nodes to do this one. Because uh, right translation, I was going to have some issues with. So theoretically, I might be able to do it if I do, um, like, say, in-in, or even out-out on one side. So I might have to do them one side at a time. So let's try 3-3 three, three on the left. Okay. So I don't know how well this is going to work for our translation to the side. Uh, five. Six. All right, five and six. All right, so five is going to be left. So in order to go left, I need to... Uh, let's go. Let's go inners. So let's do. What would it be? Three, four, three, four. So it'll be three. Uh, so let's see. Starboard bow would be four, and then it'll be starboard. Would it be? No. Uh, so let's see. Um. I'm doing in in right, so it'd be starboard uh, bow would be three, 
And starboard stern would be four. Let's run that. Because, you know. And so I'm going to, you know, push on one side to try to slide to the left. So. And it's toggled. That's wrong. Okay. Fix that. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, we'll do something like this. Let's do this. Uh, da, da, da. So that's working backwards, but it's working, so. That's six. And then what's this? That is going to three. So this should go to four. And that is going to four. So this should go to three. Let's test that out. All right. Then I think it has some like a uh, zero position stabilization system built in too. So we'll work on that. So five, I want to go left. Nothing. Okay. Six goes right, why five doesn't work? Who the fuck knows? All right. So six needs uh, to work. All right, so five, why the hell are you not working? Five, did I not fix the label on it? I must not have fixed the label on it. That's why, okay. That uh, needs to be switched to five. There we go, okay. Bingo. So this should be all the axes. All right, so we'll translate left. Why, why, why does that go right no matter what I do? Uh, because I did them all starboards instead of ports. Ugh. All right, that would be why. Silly me, silly ass me. No wonder. Okay. Ah. This one, please. All right, now I need to do ports. So what do I do? Three, four, three, four. How's it going there, Xhorus? I'll check chat in a second, guys. Just, as you can see, this is a little bit complex. I have to think in three-dimensional space the whole time I'm doing this, so. All right, that's backwards, so I'll fix it in a second. All right, five is screwed up.
Still, still not working right, huh? Interesting. The fuck is up with five? Six is working fine. Five is having a problem. Can't get five figured out. Okay, I need to look at my diagram, try to figure this out. So six is going to the right. So I've got um, starboard bow on a three. So let's do port bow on a three. Port stern on a four. Let's try that. See this last axis and then we can move on. Nope. Why the hell, why isn't this? Uh, you're killing me here, guy. hell's going on with this so what am I doing on six six is interior uh, six is now six is out five let's try something here five will do opposite starboards and see what that that bears any fruit for me here Try that. Really need this to be fixed. If I ever have a hope to dock, I need this. Damn it, I can't get this to go to the left. I really don't want to put top bottoms. I want to keep them like this. This is more complicated, but we'll see. I'm gonna quickly uh, read through chat. Uh, working on uh, RCS to my, much to my chagrin. How's it going there, Zachy? Yeah, it's mirror mode that's causing the problem. Mirror, mirror mode is causing the problem. I shouldn't have done it. Oh, do I go back and fix this whole damn thing? I think I do. This sucks. I I really don't want to start over again. But here, let's save this. And then I'm going to dick with this. So I really don't want to, but I'm going to. <laughs> it's the mirror modes causing the problems. That was... figured that out when I was doing yaw. You know, that was the problem. Was yeah, mirror mode on, and so it made it counterintuitive. I'm trying to get them to orient the same way here. So. See, like, that is the, uh, see, that's the thing with the mirror mode is now those are different. Like, you see, these, the big arrow is forward, and that's like that. So let's actually go keep the big arrows forward, and we'll go like this. Uh, it's painful going back, but it's painful going back, but I think it's going to be, it's going to work better is because I'm having to jerry it now instead of just uh, making it go. 
and that's problematic. So, often mirror mode is the death of everything. So, I'll be able to fix this up reasonably quickly again. It's just, I'm gonna do a quick run through of them. All right. Oh, it's painful to start fresh, but I think it's going to be better. Definitely going to be better. This is definitely the way to do this side. I decided this is a good way to do the right side. It's... Okay. All right, so let's get rocking and rolling again here. So let's see. Uh, what's four? Four is pitch. So let's see. So pitch should be, um, let's try this. Two, two port. Okay. So pitching, trying to pitch forward, trying to pitch forward. Nothing. What the fuck? Absolutely nothing. Why am I getting nothing here? They're all plugged in, right? Spread these out again. I can see what's going on. Okay, negative one on pitch. I can literally get nothing. Why is that nothing? Plugged in, plugged in. <clears throat> and then if it's that, it should be one on the other ones, one. Yep. It should be bow, stern. That's one of the issues here. Jesus, we're starting off bad already. Uh, bow. Bow. Stern, stern. Stern, stern. Let's give that a run. Like, it won't even... My God, dude. Nothing's working. What the fuck? Oh, I didn't plug him in. Ugh, no wonder. All right. I put in new RCS thrusters. I'm getting frustrated with this stupid thing. I really am. I'm really getting annoyed with this. Okay. Starboard bow. Uh, port bow. Starboard stern. Okay. I'm starting to make little mistakes now, like stupid disconnection errors because my brain's already mushed from this. See, they also, they want to go out to the side. I don't get why the hell they, they want to do that. Why is this not rotating? What the flying fuck is this thing doing? So one is not working at all. Why are you not rotating? Jesus Christ. Okay, so negative one, yeah, negative one was the only one going. One needs to be the opposite, so. Are these all dragged to nothings? Yeah, no power. Like, that was, uh, it didn't move at all. It was like, it was rock friggin' solid, which I don't get either. Like, it should have been moving. Uh, glad I saved the other one. We were like nine. We were like ninety percent of the way there too. Right, I'm trying to pitch down. That's going absolutely backwards. And so they're up. They're working funky here. I need to fix them. Uh, 
was getting annoyed with Arceus last time, so... They're just not at fucking intuitive right now. It's pissing me off. Okay. So one positive is pitch down. Pitch down. All right. This is the problem is... I tried to get, when I did the symmetry mode, I tried to get them all oriented to the correct direction. And that, that caused only problems in yaw and translation that I couldn't friggin' figure out. So let's do this instead. I'm not reinventing the friggin' wheel right now. It's not happening. Right. I need to figure out translation. So I need to figure out what friggin' block I need here. So let's do a blank. Okay. Let's go like this. Do that, that'll be easier. Actually, I want to do buttons. Okay. Oh, God. Alright, so I'm not going to throw away that work. That sucks. It's a mirror issue and it's driving me nuts, but I'm going to uh, just, I'm going to go in here and figure out the last set of orientation. I don't need seat anymore. Right. And so I'm going to figure out the last set of orientation here. Yeah, where's the right on offs? There we go. And I'm just going to come in here with some push buttons and I'm going to visually inspect each RCS node as necessary to make it do what the hell I want it to do. So. Why can't I, why can't I place it here? Why, why is the game not letting me place anything anywhere? Too close to the bottom? What the fuck? Game's literally not letting me place. Oh, two sided. God, stupid ass me. That's why. Ugh. My mind, man. I'm starting to get frustrated here. There we go. Alright. So that should be the axes on that. So, let's not, let's not label those the way I have them. Up, down, left, right. Up, down, left, right. Thought I did a test bench. Imagine doing this on the actual rocket, how miserable that would be. Alright, so left is currently down. Okay, left is down. So left is down.
Alright, left is... Okay, so right is up. Right is up. Up and down are figured out. Left and right need to be figured out here at this point. Probably backwards. <laughs> Why would they not be backwards at this point? Okay. Yep, they're backwards. Typical. All right, so that is the orientation there that that's set up at. Okay. All right. So let's play with this, and I'm going to figure out what I have to do for these. Let's uh, do this instead. Let's grab. Should have started like this, I think. likely that this just works is absolutely slim to none. Yeah. I need to figure out one last motion. That's it. Once I get this last motion and we're done. Um, okay, left, right. Yep, that's all right. That's right. Okay. So I need uh, down. Nope, it's not going to be that, so we'll figure this out. Okay, I need to squat to this one. I can't see that like that. Okay, fuck. Urgh, can't see. That's obnoxious. I just need this last motion, so I'm just going to work on this last motion. Trying to get frustrated so the cat knows to come and bug me. He's got a gift. As soon as I get frustrated, he likes to bug me. Sure, this is still good. Okay, good. All right. So let's stick with this side over here. So I need to be able to translate left is the last motion I need to make this controller work. At some point in the future, I'll do a non... I'll do a controller that doesn't have these mirrored because that's causing so many problems. Again, it's a, it's a my design issue, you know? You get people blaming the game for this. Like I was talking yesterday. It's like, it's not the game's problem. It's me. Yeah. It's me not understanding how the game did it. It's not something wrong with the game. All right, so this should be, okay, so this is inverted. That's completely inverted, okay. So let's see what these are plugged into. All right, so yeah, it's pretty much, everything is inverted backwards because of the uh, inversion settings, so. So left, right needs to be up, down. Nope. 
completely fucking backwards now. It's like because they're inverted too, they're spitting inside too. It's that's fucking weird, man. Alright, so the right side works. Let's just dick with this left side and try to figure out what the hell's going on here. I just want to finish this last one so I can get this running. I don't want to spend all day on this. The problem is I need that right side to work to, to translate to the left. Translating the left is what's causing me this problem here. So these are working. I think I have these set up the way I, I need them here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I need to get this side working here. That's fixed now. Up, down is backwards. Okay. All right, let's test this other one and then we'll have all four running and I can just try to get this last one figured out. So that's the one that's annoying. So let's see. Up down left right okay good let's see up of course not all right so up down's inverted on this one all right just up down All right, so I need to try to get this to push. I need this to translate to that other side. So I need this to push away from me using these. So ideally I'm looking at, pro I wanna push bottom, bottom. So the bottom, see the problem is it's pushing me. It's like, it's blowing inward. I don't get that, that's fucked up. All right, I'm, I've about had it with this, so I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm kind of done with this at the moment, so. I'm making a separate one for side translation, just doing it, because I'm so sick of this at this point. I really had enough. Uh, of course, you're one block too high, huh? I just did I hook the fucking note up or not? I did. They're not plumbed. All right. God damn it. All right. Oh, let's see. Yeah. The other way to make it not so sensitive is you. Uh, you, know, you have less pressure in your tanks. It's not going to move your craft as much either. But right. Did those get merged? I highly doubt it. I'm making like silly little mistakes now because I'm flustered and annoyed. So that's 
that's when sometimes, like I say, you know, it's a good time to take a break is you start getting flushed and annoyed. You're not going to make any good progress. It's just like, that's why I'm trying to get off of this. Do something else for a little bit. But we're like right at the end of it. I don't want to like start fresh. I want to just get this done. But to a point where I'm making silly little mistakes because of it. All right. So that is... Okay, so good. So up is to the left. Down is to the right. Up, left, down, right. That's the easiest way to do this. Up. Up, left, down, right. Up, left, down, right. Okay. Up, left, down, right. Up is going to be... So 4 is 5 and 3 is 6. 4 is 5, 3 is 6. All right. 4 is 5, 3 is 6. Four is five, three is six. Four is five, three is six. Four is five, three is six. Okay. So I had thought about this earlier. Doing this yesterday. Oh my god, what did I just do? Okay. Alright. Actually, I only need one, huh? Yeah, I only need one. Nope. I'm oriented the same, the right way. Three hook all these back up again. So top, bottom, starboard stern, port bow, starboard bow, uh, port stern, bottom top. Are we all hooked up and are we happy here? Look happy. That'll be dashed. <laughs> All right, let's see. It's five and six. Toggles off. It pushes. All right, let's see. Can I uh, damn orient this thing? Hopefully so. Sometimes getting back to basics, like just putting the buttons there, it helped me figure it out a little bit better. Okay. Right. Left. Pitch. Okay, pitch. Yaw. Yaw. Okay, good. Forward. Back. Beautiful. Done. Oh, thank you. Um, that, that was absolutely frustration city for a little while there. Just. So it was a mirroring problem. The way I mirrored it, it's, it's all dicked up. So I would do it a different way in the future. I will redo it many years in the future from now when I can actually tolerate it. But, um. Yeah, that sucked. It was really just the mirroring issue made things work in uh, really not very intuitive ways, and that is just an absolute zoo. Uh, when it's not working intuitively, it's it's a mess. So let's go ahead and save this as the uh, RCS test bench. That microcontroller is good. That can go in and will should function. So let's copy that. I'll stop, take a little break, recheck, get a new coffee, and um, a breather. <laughs> Yeah, that was frustrating as hell. Uh, it was just the the mirroring issue, and again, it's not it's not the game's fault. It's my fault. I mirrored it and didn't expect for mirrored results. So it's um, you know, and I should you know I should have taken a break at some point and come back to it, but I was making progress, so I didn't. Let me read some chat here. I guess I said hello to everybody so far. 
It seems like uh, Rasmus is having a little bit of a uh, inspiration crisis. Doesn't know what to do yet. Next. Yeah, yeah, but like, yeah, it's uh, it was mirror mode. It's just that was annoying. Uh, hiding microcontroller problem for Citrus. Yeah, that's always terrible. Visible microcontrollers. How's it going there, Xhorus? IJKL. Yeah, I would like to see IJKL. That would be nice. Um, that would be helpful. Uh, like, you know, putting in the HOTUS would have been nice, but it, it screws up my dash. And that's one thing. It's like, it's like, why? You know, like, all they did for the HOTUS seat is add rudder pedals. It's like, dude, take the rudder pedals out. Like, or like, let me click, let me have, how hard is it for you to do the exact same, um, HOTUS setup with a standard seat? And so you can use one or the other, because I might actually use my, you know, I was going to use my, my, uh, joysticks for this. I like the function block for logical functions. I never use it, but that avoids huge bags of nodes. How's it going there, Aaron? Yeah, it's 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 a mirror issue. It's um it's not really a bug. It's me misunderstanding it mirrored it in both directions. And so that was part of the problem was it was mirroring it so that the venting was going in, so I could I literally would never have been able to go left. And that's that's part of the problem, so you know, um, this was, I thought of this, you know, yes, yesterday was the easiest way to do it is always to put one top bottom, but I didn't want to have to replumb them. So I was like avoiding it, even though it was the best way to do it. I always shut off my jet engines with, I, uh, disengage the PID. It's the best way because it, it, it will, uh, then the engine can't take in any. I'm using the workbench at O'Neill. How did he get the hanger to go away? I didn't. It's a new workbench. Yep. Yep. It's behind O'Neill. That's so that people without the DLC can... Uh, or without uh, Industrial Frontier can still go to space. Yeah, like, I like Kerbal's reaction. I like Kerbal's RCS system better. You know, it makes sense. It's a space game. But, um, all right. So those translation ones, I want right around the CG right here. So that needs to go there. And then where are we at here? Right here, maybe. I think that's the same spot. All right. And I'm going to do my darndest not to screw this up. So what we're going to do is put this up here. Oh, fuck off. That's in the way. The F-bomb's coming today. RCS was just not fun. Needs to be done, and it's not fun, so... Okay. The cat knows when I get stressed out and he just like comes and bugs me because he thinks that's helpful. <laughs> and I appreciate the thought he has, but it's not helpful at all. And so he's like climbing on me and just being a pain in the ass while I was trying to do it. And it's like, just give me a break, dude. All right, so let's take that. All right, so that's going to be the translation RCS blisters there. And let's get them plumbed up. All right, so I'm going to save this. Uh, let's do um, SSTO1 RCS. Okay. Do lots of saves at this point, too, because if I screw up anything major, it is really, it is really a pain. All right, so we're going to go back here, and I want to grab these two. I'm going to cut them. 
And I want to load in because that, that microcontroller is already in there. So that's going to be the orientation is correct. And that's important. Okay, so we'll take this blister and that's why I oriented it the way it is in, you know, that it really is on this because it's that way I don't have to change anything. I don't have to try to do a 4D chess to get it to work. I just um, put them in the way they were and it makes it a lot easier. Okay. So those are good. Let's go ahead and paint. Theoretically, if I can get the paint, let's copy the paint. Right. I might, I might put a darker color in the blisters, but I'm not doing it yet. Okay. Uh, mercifully, we have space for this, so I don't know how much pressure I'm going to need for these Johnnies. So one thought I had, which I don't think I'm going to do, is. I initially was going to just use the air that was in this room, but tanks are the best because you can pre-pressurize them. So that is kind of what I'm going to do is uh, pre-pressurize the RCS tanks. So, and you need a, you need quite a bit of RCS. Uh, you need quite a bit to do this. I don't know how well the um, so you know what I should do. I should dick with these too. I should dick with my. Um, Let's save this really quick. I need to align my... I need to align all my uh, reaction wheels. So let's incorporate reaction wheels. I need to do a reaction wheel control system. So let's do that. Uh, I have an offset rotation, which I need to get rid of. Yeah, I have an offset rotation, so I need to cut that out. And Let's put it in line rotation. So, you know, I kind of want this test rig going so I can use it for other stuff. So, let's see where are we at here? Right on the money there. Okay, right on the money there. Can't tell. Is that sticking out the same? It is. Okay. So I, need to, I need to dick with this a little bit. A little bit of offset, and I'm going to fix the uh, offset. Can't see where the corner is right there. All right. Cut you. And I want to go up a little bit so I don't hit stuff. There we go. Alright, All right, so that's better. And then I need to start working on RC. Uh, no, mm -hmm. reaction wheels. So let's do that. Kind of need some idea what's going on with these. That's backwards. Come on, give me. Just do it right the first time, so I'm not spending a hundred years on this, please. Okay, there we go. All right, so I need pitch, uh, roll, and yaw. So let's go. Bet close to the center of gravity, the better. Why won't you let me put it on the outside of the blister? You really? You're going to be a pain like that? I'll do it up one. I'm not going to be able to get them perfect anyways. Uh, hollow on that side. Okay. So pitch is WS, AD is roll, um, yaw left right, uh, no I have it, I have it screwy, 
Uh, so eight, uh, let's see. 80 is one, two, which is fucked up. I gotta fix that. Um, I have, I have AD as yaw, so let's keep AD as yaw for now, and then I'll work in roll. I need to put in a converter for that. All right. Uh, it's going to have RCS on too, isn't it? All right, so there is uh, there's RCS. Oh, I see. It's not. It's yeah. It's not going to want to. It's not going to want to roll properly because it it can't pivot in the middle. Because I took out that pivot, so took out the pivot so it can it can uh, yaw, but um, I can roll. I need to put in a quick roll converter, so. So the pitch direction is correct. I'm ch trying to check out direction is one of the things I need to do. So put a quick uh, correction in here. So I need to take in the seat. And I need to output a number. Right. And so where the hell are we? There we are. All right. So this is for roll control. So roll, I'm using one, two. On RCS, so it's going to be the same as RCS. I'm just going to kind of do it like Kerbal. You can shut off RCS and just use your reaction wheels, or you can use your reaction wheels. Reaction wheels are—they just use electricity, so that's nice. Uh, so what we're going to do here is an up-down counter. Enable uh, negative one. So I'm essentially just turning push buttons back into um, auto resets. To can't remember which way is negative, which way is positive. We'll fix that later if need be. Um, okay. Is the roll control. So I'm just trying to sit, make sure the arrows are all pointing the right way. So that uh, I can get them going. Oh, dude, watch your tail. Ah, I gotta shut the RCS off. Okay, they're gone. Okay, that's backwards. Alright, that's backwards. Okay. And then I'm just going to do this. I'll try to get it. some notion of uh, what I need for how big these are. I don't want them to be over controlled. So let's do uh, that's backwards. Okay, and then uh, what was I doing? Roll. Okay, roll's working correctly now. Uh, nope, 
it's not it's not uh it's not reset is it re completely resetting it now uh, you know why is that screwed up it was i couldn't roll it backwards Not X or Y, reset it to zero. That should find enable one negative one. That's probably what it is. And then this needs to be backwards. So I just want to get my orientation arrows correct here. Should have made a whole new test bed for this, but I don't want to take time. Okay, pitch. And at this pitch. And then roll. Okay. All right, so let's check the orientation arrows now. I kind of that figured out. All right, so it should be solids tops on pitch. Solid, uh, let me take some pictures here. Solid tops. Uh, where's my notepad? Yeah, there it is. Right. So we want to do pitch is solid top. Pitch, solid top. Uh, we want yaw is going to be this sucker here. Uh, solid left, solid left. And then... Um, Roll facing down, roll down, and solid right, solid right. Okay, there we go. Let's get that in there. Let's get the uh, reaction wheels set up. So close to the center of gravity again as you can is always best. I'm right here. And so let's see, this is gonna be pitch. Pitch should be solid tops. Get out of there. Uh, solid tops on the pitch here. Where is it? All right. It's right here. Solid top. And uh, make sure that's the top. Yep. Yep, that's correct. All right. And we'll check this one. Solid top. Okay, good. That's good. And then I have roll down, solid right. Roll down, solid right. That is correct. Double stack of those. And then I have... Um, Yaw is solid left. Yaw is solid left. I put it in here somewhere. I don't know where I put it. Right here. Um, solid left. Those need to be uh, inverted. Okay. Those are backwards, though, so those should actually work. That should work because they're backwards. All right, so let's hook those in. Uh, those hooked in? I think they are. All right, are they all plumbed? They're all plumbed, okay. What is this? Let me check how I have these connected here. All right, left, right is going to be... Yeah, I want to change my yaw back to left, right. Because I'm doing it weird, and I don't like it um, when I'm with my control surfaces. Or my rocket, my rocket nozzle is what's doing it. So, the, yeah, it's the rocket nozzle that screws me up here. So, gimbal X is AD. It should be left, right. So, left, right. I'm just going to be getting to that. That'll fix all my woes with that. Then, RCS. Uh, I don't want to dick with RCS. I really don't. Um, we can keep RCS. All right, let's save this. And then I want to uh, plumb up the RCS, and then hopefully we can get the hell in a space and test the sucker out. <laughs> Already? <laughs> Getting annoyed, I want to get it done. Uh, let's see, so let's go... I'm going to have to do it without symmetry, so let's go there. Okay, 
RCS is in the way. Let's go. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't know how huge this is going to have to be to make it work, so let's try. Alright, so I have a whole notion of how I want this system to work, so we'll go... I have to do it not symmetrical because it's like diagonal is how this is coming in. Oh, aneurysm in two seconds here. Can that side go in? I don't think it can. No, that has plumbing issues. Alright, so that's fine. And so I'm gonna prime this through uh, out of the room. So the room is gonna prime this system up. So <clears throat> this this room spawns with a bunch of gas in it. What I'm gonna do is uh, the pump is gonna keep these tanks at uh, 100 atmosphere. So it will uh, always pump this this these tanks back up from this room. So because this room will spawn at one atmosphere air, and so I want to pump this back up. And trying to get this pump in here is going to be an absolute freaking pain in the ass. It's just I'm like, I'm starting to run out of space in here because of some of the shit. Alright, let's go. Like that. So it's going to get a fluid port in here, and so it's going to suck air out of this room, and it's going to pressurize my tanks for my RCS tanks. And so these tanks will spawn with gas in them. And this will uh, essentially refill them. Yeah, that will refill them, and it will keep them topped off. And then I will port through... What is that? that? Okay, that needs to stay. And that screwed up there. Okay, good. So let's go... <coughs> Uh, I'm trying to think uh, pressure regulator on here. Let's try to pressure regulate this somehow. Yeah, I'm trying to think about pressure regulating this. Actually, I can pressure regulate it at the pump. So that should work fine. All right, we'll pressure regulate at the pump. So essentially, like if I, uh, if I want to make my RCS less effective, what I can do is pump the tanks to a lower atmosphere and so essentially what I can do is set that with the pump so the pump will you know I'll set say I want uh, 10 atmospheres in there I want 100 atmospheres in there and that will set it up all right good so that is good let's see so that is that one and then friggin plumbing nightmare in here it's gonna be these. See, this is one reason I didn't want to do these on the sides. They're absolutely obnoxious. 
the spacing's not good with those uh, with the hydrogen tanks. I can make a space though here. So let's go. I need to find a way to plumb this up. So that would have to go up two. Could it go, can this go up two? I don't think so. I think it may be one. Yeah. That still works, but we'll do one. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's not. Okay. Let's just pipe it. And I'll try to plumb into this system. We'll see if I can plumb right into the same RCS system. Problem is getting around. I have to go all the way up and over to get around to this. So not ideal at all. Um, that's actually it's actually not too too bad. I don't think we might be able to make this work. All right. Problem is I can't really copy this. I have to, I, you know, I have to friggin' redo it. Um, I'll check chat in a second, guys. I'm just kind of want to get this one plumbed up, and then the other one's just me duplicating it. And now the reason why initially I didn't want to have to do these tops is it's like it's just extra plumbing and extra piping and then the longer the runs of the pipe the greater the chance that I start sticking with my pressure and having problems <clears throat> so I was trying to avoid that but it looks like it's not going to be avoided so all right there we go all right so this will uh so those will start pressurized and then it will suck air out of the room and and keep those up to a certain pressure whatever I set let's read some chat Yeah, that's the thing. Is the more frustrating the design, the better su the success. Yeah, so it's like, you know, it's that's why like when you see somebody has some really intricate stuff on their build, especially like in a build challenge, you know, that means they you know they really put a lot of thought in that. It was a lot of work and a lot of frustration. It's like when somebody slaps together something quick and easy, it's um, it's not as impressive because it's you know, didn't take those risks, you know. Yeah, you know, it's like you see some of the, the spacecraft people are making that are pretty ugly and they just uh, like have tanks on the outside and pretty basic and they work. But, you know, it's it's trying to integrate. You see some people stuff that looks like really like uh, cool sci fi, like they had to make it look like that and then hide all the tanks and, and then make it physically work properly. So that's really, um, you know, a lot of work. One thing I like at Stormworks is the sensors give numbers that uh, may feel strange, but it's nothing like it is IRL. Oh, interesting. Yeah. How's it going there, Owl? Uh, yep, pressurization solved. Uh, RCS was an absolute disaster. You missed that. <laughs> we'll get that done, though, for the most part. Why don't I move my RCS blisters up? Uh, oh, that's why. <clears throat> Actually, I can move them right to the door. Let's see. Um, I, I'll leave them at center of gravity. Yeah, I'll leave them at CG. Yeah, I'll leave them at CG. I'm not going to screw with them. It's just too great of a chance of me picking it up. All right, let's um, start grabbing components and parts. Of this new system, I want to, I want them in the same spot, so that's kind of tough. So I have to try to get as many parts here as I can. So let's see. Could do it this way. So I'm gonna go like this, essentially. And I'm going to copy this, pull it out like that. All right. 
Now I'm going to start to strip it away to the elements that it needs. Okay. All right, so that is the RCS system there. Pretty basic. Copy that. We'll cut it. I want to invert it this way. And then it needs to go that way. All right. So hopefully this all just aligns. And so I'm trying to think, where is this? Um, so that's the blister there. I want to make sure that that's going to go. Okay. Okay. So that needs to go back one. All right. Bingo. I think we're there. Hey, look at that. So that plums in pretty uh, reasonably. Okay. Okay, and then that, this RCS blister can plumb in there. Make sure I didn't uh, actually delete out a tank. I didn't, okay. And then the final plumage goes here, if I can get it. Okay, good. All right, so that is, uh, um, then what about my bottoms? I need to get these bottoms plumbed in. Bottoms need to get plumbed in. So I think these are pretty simple to plumb the bottoms in. Undo all of that noise that I just did. All right. Try to find where this RCS blister is right there. All right, there's an RCS blister there. And plumb it in here, I think. Yep. So let's uh, actually we'll undo, and I'll put on symmetry. These can be symmetrical. All right, so that's good there. Let's go cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut, and cut. Then this here is going to go... That's going to be fucked up doing it. Um, okay. I can't add the pipe there. Um, that's fine. Go like that. All right. And then I'll do straight. And then we'll. Uh, I have to go. They're not symmetrical. They're inverted. So I need to go like this. This is symmetrical, though. All right, so there is the two RCSs. All right, take off symmetry. Cut you. All right, then we need to come over this side, and it's going to be the um, this way. All right, so RCS should be plumbed up. We've got the tops and the bottoms. We have the front and the sides, rather. All right, let's plumb in all the RCS. Did I bring that in? I think I did. Yep. I didn't go into, like, the more advanced stuff with RCS. Like, if you look at them, uh, they have... Um... See, it does have body rotate. But I'm doing it myself because I don't want it to. I don't want it to try to. I, I probably, you know, it definitely would have been easier to run some of these. But I really don't want to do those. That's part of the issue it's doing is it's trying to do it for me, and I want to do it myself. I want to have it. You know, I want my craft to work the way I want it to work. So it's there's easier ways to do it, but I'm just like not really all that interested in you and using the shortcut right now. Maybe at some point I'll embrace the shortcut, but right now I'm not. This top. 
Which one's my top? Okay, starboard stern. You know, I just want to use the, you know, they're, they're making it so more people could get, um, to get making it more accessible, but it's, uh, I kind of like doing it this way where I have to kind of do it. Uh, what is that? Port. A port bow. Okay, port bow right there. Starboard bow right there. Okay. And then what are you? Uh, is that it? Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, this has a bunch of extra nodes. And so at some point I'll do pressure regulation. So let's go update this. And let's try to just blast off the RCS. I'm gonna make an RCS panel. Yeah, I'm feeling be uh, better COVID wise. Thank you for asking. All right, let's see, uh, pitch forward. Why am I getting nothing, Lebowski? That's fucking annoying. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay. That is roll left. Okay. Roll right. Okay. Oh, I know why. Um, I didn't configure the seat. All right. Oh, that shouldn't be toggled. Push. 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 All right, those are all pushes now. Good. And then the seat needs to be reconfigured, so up, down, left, right need to be reset 100%. All right, let's try that now. So the nice thing is once I have some microcontrollers built for this, I don't have to screw around too much. I can just kind of keep them the way they are. So let's go. I want to roll left. So that should be, yep, up on this side, down on the other side. It is roll left. Uh, roll right. Yep, that looks good. Uh, what's this three? Three is forward, back. Uh, what is five and six again? Fives translate. It's making that noise because it also does the jet. All right, so there is uh, that. Nice uh, pitch. Why is that fucked up? Awesome. Left, right, up, down, a re. That's why that's fucked up. Okay. Alright. Pitch. Okay, that looks correct. Left, right. The RCS seems to be working now. I can't tell reaction wheels. Um, oh, we're good there. Okay, good. Then you make an RCS control panel here. Get working on that. So let's do um, enable RCS. Enable RCS. <coughs> Button, toggle, one, okay. I'm gonna need more than that for RCS. I don't want it here either, so. I don't want to sit, I don't want it there, so I'm gonna move it. Um, what did I put in this panel? 
Let's put it here. Enable RCS button toggle one. Then I want to do uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. RCS pressure, RCS P plus, arrow button up, push three. Okay, this is going to be, uh, da -da. I'll do this one as RCS. Minus, arrow button down, uh, push for <clears throat> and this one will be uh, RCS pressure, A, A, ATM. Okay, that's going to be a gauge vert, zero to hundred. Um, that's going to be five. RCS. Set. And so what this is going to do is I'm going to set the I'm going to set so this one's going to read what the pressure in the tanks are at. This one's going to read to me what I want them at. So I'm going to be able to set the pressure. So say say that the RCS is is too strong right now and we're at 100 atmospheres. So what that's going to allow me to do is um, I can um, set the RCS pressure to only be at, say, 10 atmospheres. So oh, what I need to do is put valves in to leak back into the uh, into the body. But what that's going to allow me to do is decrease it down to, say, you know, if I really need super fine control, I can set it down to, say, 10 atmospheres, and then I can hold it, and it will be very minimal, and the pump will keep... You know the pump will auto turn on if it's below the set atmospheres and so if i set it to 100 it'll be a max strength if i set it at 50 it'll be at you know half strength and that way i can set my strength on there and then this one here will be I don't know. I might use some of that position hold stuff. So let's uh, let's hang off on that for now. I want to get up. I want to get a flight in at least to test this out. Because I'm trying to get the geo. The whole point of this craft is geostationary orbit. That's what the craft. This craft's job is. <clears throat> is to get to geostationary orbit. So let's do. All right. Valve. All right. Um, yeah, so I'll take us up on a flight. Um, trying to get us stopped here, too. So let's see. Let's get in here. Um, all 
All right, there's three, four. Let's go. Uh, we want an up, down counter. We'll make it one. We'll enable it. We'll do zero to 100 atmospheres. Like so. Okay. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to do, um, all right, system pressure. Let's do this really quick. So I, I don't want an imbalance. For example, I don't want one of these pump sets to screw up the other one and cause me to have uh, a pressure imbalance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut across uh, all the way to here and I'm going to link the systems. That way they can, um, the pressure will be the same across them. They'll equalize. So we'll still have, you know, uh, the same number of tanks that it had. But now the pressure will be equalized between the systems. So, for example, we can't get, you know, one side is has more pressure than the other. That's going to cause us problems. So this will get us where... Why didn't that one get one? No, I don't have symmetry on. All right. And then this one here... And so this will keep the pressure between them because I was going to have to take both tanks and both pumps and work them separately. This way I can work them together. So where are we at here? That is... This is... Uh, okay, that's fills. That's... I have to look at this really quick to make sure I'm pumping, checking the right system. Okay, this is the right system here. All right, so we take one of the uh, tank pressures here and that will plumb into system pressure there. Okay, this is going to be pump will be here, and the pump will be here. Okay, and what was that? That was valve. Okay, so I need to add valves in here. Uh, it's like a pressure relief valve. So I need to put a pressure relief valve in there somewhere. So put it in, probably just need one. And I think I'm gonna start doing this, this with some of these valves is I need to do, it, it goes so fast, I don't even know if this is gonna help it, but like, for example, if you uh, set the maximum on that pressure relief valve to like 0.01 might help. So where's valve? Valve is going to be number output valve. And then um, that will pressure relief this out. And so we can PID control that. So what I'll do is I'll go valve. Um, let's see. So what we'll do here is we'll do a threshold gate. Uh, first we'll do a clamp. Clamp, this will be, oh, stop it. This will be uh, negative one. No, one, one, this is gonna be pump. So when the PID gets to one, one, it's gonna turn on the pump. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna read um, the inverted number here. So it will fill the system up with a pump. So when it the pig gets to a value of one, it's going to turn on the pump. And if it drops below that, it's going to stop the pump. Uh, for the valve, what it's going to do is it's going to... I could double valve it too. Okay. 
Yeah. I, I could put a valve on front of the pump too, but we'll do it like this. And then, so what this is going to be is negative X. So when this is a negative one, it's going to be a full valve, full open. When it's at negative 0.1, it's going to be 0.1 valve open to let out a little bit. And then what was it? RCS panel one. So let's go. And then this will turn on the, the PID when we turn on the RCS. So we're not wasting um, memory, essentially. And then this will be P value. And I put a clamp on there. Uh, I meant to clamp this. I need to clamp this number out. And I'll make this a one, negative one. All right. And then this will be the p-value. Uh, Try that to start with, see how that does us. All right. And then I need to read the tank volumes. This is going to be a lot. So what do I have? Three tanks, six tanks total. Do I care about the tank quantity? Not really, I care about the pressure. So I don't really care about the tank quantity, I care about the pressure, so I'm not gonna worry about it. So pressure is gonna be, pressure set is, what are you talking, five, six, that's six. So I wanna write five and six. So start channel five will be two, so that's five and six. All right. Six, and then the pressure is going to be, where did the pressure go? Up here. Pressure is going to read here. Okay. Let's plumb this all in. So this will go to the valve. Right there. And then we need to plumb in the panel. Where right here. All right, let's give that a looky. Let's read some chat. Yep, but uh, health-wise, I'm feeling pretty good now. Uh, can we create a personalized atmosphere of 20% oxygen, 80% nitrogen? Uh, you'd have to you'd have to spool out you have to spool out uh, the nitrogen with a, a slurry separator. Essentially, it's I wouldn't it's not really worth doing, frankly, as far as I'm concerned. All right, so we're looking at this. This is um, so we currently have 91 atmospheres in here. I'm set to zero atmospheres. Uh, the system's not on though, so let's try to turn the system on and does it vent it? It does. Uh, but it looks like it's pretty slow. All right, that's probably the low p-value. So let's just put a p-value of 1 in there. Where's my cursor? There it is. Okay, so we'll do a p-value of 1. All right. So, uh, system is set to zero atmospheres. Let's see if it vents it. Why isn't it venting it? It's interesting. It should be venting the system. Uh, input electricity is on. Yep. I don't know why that's not venting it. But that's pumping it up. So, pumping up wor is working. And let's go below so the the valve is not working. I have to hook the pressure in. I didn't hook the pressure in. I don't think on the uh, on the process. I didn't hook up the process variable. Okay, that would do it.
Alright. Alright, there we go. So it's now, you see, it's dumping the pressure into that room. Alright, so say I want, like, really weak RCS so I can just do a docking maneuver, uh, go up, and I want to set it to, say, 10. It's going to pump up to around 10. And the pump is off. I set it to 25, but so you notice I set 26, we're at 25.78. So now that's going to give me that's going to give me a difference in strength, so I can make the RCS as strong or as weak as I want. All right, so we have RCS going. We have uh, reaction wheels hooked up. Let's take a quick flight. I have to screw around with a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Starting to get complicated now to get this up and running, so that's fine. All right, so I want my, uh, probably I want my controllers on this panel here on the left. <clears throat> Let's see. I don't know what I want in that one. Uh, we'll leave that one. Maybe, uh... Turbine. Turbine average ITT. Okay, dial, that's fine. That's pretty useless to me, but whatever. I'm just going to put it in here for now. And I'll fix it later. All right, so that's gonna give me my uh, jet engine control, and then I need my rocket thrust plus. That's gonna be a arrow button up. It's gonna be five. Seven. <laughs> um, rust set dial zero to one hundred. Percentage. Oh, uh, it's that six, six. And then I don't know what I want for this one. So. Leave it for none for now. All right.
And I'm just going to go super simple on this now. I'm going to go super simple on it now, and then I'll change it later. So let's go for... Um, I'll end up putting this, the starters on the side panel, but I'm going to do it right now for like this for now. So button will be... Uh, curb. Start. Slash. Stop. Toggle that out. And then this will be the same here. So this is rocket. Start. Slash. Stop. This will be a button toggle eight. All right, we'll do that for now, and then I will uh, further complicate this later. All right. So where's my jet controller? It's up here, I think. Control fins gear. Where the hell is it? Uh, let's see. Right here. Okay, it's this one. Jet slash rocket control. Okay, jet slash rocket control. Do number output rocket throttle and uh, output uh, rocket ignition. Rocket ignition. All right, let's get in there and we'll add this to it. So let's see. So right here we're using one two off the seat. That's change. I can get rid of seat. Um, seat's not doing donkey anymore. Okay. Panel is gonna go here. All right, one and three, and then um, four is that. So let's do four. And then we need a five and seven. Five, seven, and this one's gonna be eight, okay. All right, so that's going to go to rocket throttle there, and then ignition. If we get eight, we'll get ignition. And then I need to write a couple here, so we need to write um, two. RPS, where is that? RPS right here. Okay. And then I need to write... Uh, what's that? Six. Okay. So let's get that plumbed up here. So that's that. Jet turbine throttle, rocket throttle. Okay. A rocket ignition. And these also go to the rocket pumps. And then... Um, panels. 
Bills. Where the hell is it going to? Okay, why is that going into gear? Okay, I'm upside down is why. I plumbed, just plugged in the wrong thing. Uh, gear, gear, okay, this is going... Dude, what the hell did I plug that into that it's not supposed to be plugged into? Uh, what's that? Okay, that's fine. All right, that didn't hurt anything. All right, let's see if we can get a flight out of this. Read a little chat as that's loading up. I might turn on infinite electricity at some point just to get, uh, or infinite fuel just to get me where I'm going, but, um, yeah. On this Steam Workshop, okay. Interesting, okay. Thanks, uh, Rasmus. We'll see you later. Yeah, I, I figure out everything myself. I don't just take things off the workshop. If I figure it out myself, I remember it. If I just grab things off the workshop, I rely on people, other people's work. I don't do that. All right, let's uh, get going here. A little bit extra touchy here on um, pitch and everything because the reaction wheels are going. So I'll probably make those so that they um, I can select those on and off. Then you make a reaction wheel panel at some point. And put the gear up. Here comes the gear. All right, we're at 19. We're about halfway to space already. Set on the seat. All right, so here it uh, it flawlessly switches over. I put in the astro conversion, so as you can see, we just continue with altitude. So it converts it right over to astro, and we're going 200 meters per second at present. So good speed here. So at about 100,000 feet, and I'm watching for a slowdown in speed to know to activate the rocket. So we're still, still cooking here, so I'm not ready to activate the rocket yet as long as we're still moving at a good speed. Trying to save as much uh, rocket fuel as possible. All right, still doing a good speed here. Oh, this is in feet. Never mind. Okay, it's. Uh, I thought I changed over to meters. Maybe I did. I can't remember if I changed over to meters or not. Doesn't look like it though. Um, I may or may not have changed over to meters. Can't recall. All right, there we go. I don't think I did. So here comes the rock. The rocket. There we go. Accelerating. If need be, I will go infinite fuel because I did not pressurize my tanks for speed's sake. All right, so I can shut down my jets. They're not doing anything at this point. All right, so we're starting to get up there. I don't want to go much over 500 because I just get an efficiency loss at that point. And I'm also trying to stop us at 300 
um, kilometers so I can try to do some testing. So is RCS on? I didn't turn RCS on, but I'm getting RCS, so I have to fix that. So, uh, where's my lights? Lights, 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 lights. All right, there's lights. All right, there's lights. All right, that's set to 18 atmosphere, so that's not too bad. Let's enable the RCS. Once we get up around 300, we're going to get to the point where uh, the moon is pulling on us and the Earth's pulling on us, and we don't get pulled towards either of them. So. so right now, the reaction wheels are helping me. Uh, I guess the um, the rocket is doing it too, but get some reaction wheel help. No real point in me accelerating us anymore. I don't know why this gauge isn't working after. Oh, it's set to one. I have it as percentage. I never converted it. That's why. Oh, that was a something. Game loaded something in. All right, so we're getting close to 300. I'm start slowing down. Hey, those turn into fucking toggles. So I'm gonna start RCSing us. Um, okay, I'm gonna build pressure up here. Right, I'm gonna use, um, let's see. Try to see how fast we're slowing down here. Not really all that fast. using RCS to slow us down a little bit, but probably want to use the rocket. See if, uh, I don't know if my reaction wheels are working all that fast, then really not. All right. Using a little RCS to try to slow down. I think I'm gonna use just a little bit of rocket to try to slow down. Okay, that's screwed up. I left that as a toggle and that's dicking me around, so. Using a little RCS to try to slow down here. We're going too close to the moon. It's gonna start pulling us in. Let me try to move around a little bit here at least. All right, so we're in space. Weightless here. Why am I floating to the top? How do I swim down? Are we able to do that in here? Ah, it's gonna... Come on, let me get in the seat. I'm stuck in the dash. Oh my god, there we go. That's gonna piss me off. Need a lot of RCS pressure. Yeah, I need a ton of RCS pressure. Not terrible, but just need to keep that in mind. Slowing down nicely, but I just needed uh, I needed to spin us around, and it doesn't look like the reaction wheels are working all that well. Like I'm trying right now. I'm holding the SK. Let me try pitch. Yeah, like I'm not getting anything really. Yeah, it's like I, I vented pretty much all of my gas. So I need to put an RCS filler. I need to get those up to a high pressure before I leave. 
But we're, we're almost stopped here. We're almost stopped. But we're so close to the moon, it's likely we're going to probably get pulled in by the moon. But we're down to like 70 meters per second. So. Trying to get stopped. Here, let's uh, do something here. I'm probably almost out of fuel, so I kind of expected that. Put a trim in? Why am I rotating? I don't know why I'm rotating here. But we'll figure that out. Am I venting? I'm venting some gas somewhere. Shut the RCS off. Yeah, it was an RCS problem, I think. All right, we're very, we're pretty slow now. We're starting to, we're accelerating again, trying to get in a seat here so I can. All right, when I get in the crew compartment, see, how, like, the momentum's getting me moving, and I can't, like, move around in space here, so I don't know what the hell's, how am I supposed to operate here? This is the thing, is I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to operate here if I can't move. I probably need to get completely stationary, which is problematic here. Like, I can't just dilly-dally around in, in space here. My RCS is almost out, so I'm going to turn on infinite fuel. I want to get stopped. And I'm trying to get us in geosync so I can actually do some tests here because I'm losing my testing ability if I don't get this done. All right, so we're going to rock it back. So, you know, this thing has really good fuel economy. The issue being that um, I just need to be able to, uh, you know, I have to pressurize the system. So it takes three trailer three trailers to fully fill the tanks on this. And so that could take me 30 minutes. So I need a test with infinite fuel until I realize the vehicle is working right. And then it's worth me spending the time trying to do that, you know. All right, so now I'm going to turn the uh, the rocket back on here. We're getting close, and I need to go back to about 80 degrees and start to try to slow down. All right. So what are we doing? Are we climbing? We're climbing. Okay, so I need four. Which way is four? I'm trying to get a relative velocity slowed down. I don't have that relative velocity node, but notice my altitude is really getting slow now, so. I'm starting to descend now, so I want to go forward a little bit. Because we're going, we're uh, we're going sideways essentially.
All right, so we're back to climbing a little bit very slowly. I need to try to cancel out my momentum. So if we look and actually see the RCS and tell which way I'm going. So I'm trying to go left. As you see, it's going to the right. So I need to start going way right. Uh, which, never mind, which way am I going here? So let's rotate. Let's roll me here. Roll me this way. So I don't know what my prograde is. That's part of the problem. You see I'm going away there, so I need to go. I need to pitch down and toward. Okay, so. So I'm trying to get my velocity zeroed out here. I'm close. There we go. Close to finding where it needs to be. We're pretty damn close to where I need to be here on getting it out. Like, Kerbal has all the tools to be able to see that. Uh, this doesn't really. So I need handles all through here to be able to grab on, which makes sense. Don't do that. It likes to glitch me through the glass, which is really not helpful. Because if I can't go in... Um, I can't go in no clip because the spaceship will fall apart, will fall away from me, and I'll never get back in it. So... Alright, so I need to figure out some more things here, but we're making good progress here. Yeah, it's going to be a mess here. I'm st I can't do anything about this now. We're fucked. All right. Actually, I can. Nope. See, as soon as I try to go back in, it's not happy. Cause see, we're actually we have a we have a motion going sideways, and like I don't I don't know my relative motion, so I need to find some. I need to make a, a gauge or something to show my relative motion. Because I need to cancel out in three dimensions. I need to cancel my speed out in all three dimensions. So, okay, we're, we're lost now. Okay. But uh, good little test there. So learn some stuff from that at least. So. Um, no, I don't know any good tutorial on the HOTUS. Why am I in... What's... Why am I in the drink here? Okay, I'm right here. Alright, so we're gonna save this up, probably take a break, so, uh... Worked well. I'll look at that HOTUS seat really, really quickly. I've, I haven't worked on that before. But, uh, good work on this. Got the RCS working mostly, um... You know, I, I'm going to need a lot of pressure in there. Part of the thing is, you know, uh, infinite fuel is good that I can use infinite fuel to test because this rocket will take uh, three of the trailers worth of hydrogen and oxygen. So it's, uh, what is it, six per trailer. So you're talking um, 18. So 18 tanks can go into three tanks. So we're talking at least six times uh volume to fill them and so it just takes a while so if i if i wanted to go full fuel every time i did a test it would take a lot of time and so with infinite fuel i can just test it quickly quickly um that's saved so uh, mark is asking about the hoda seat let's look at that Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, one is the hot. Uh, one plus the hot keys. Thirty-one triggers. That's the same. On off. Uh, Thirty-two is occupied. Value one AD two WS. Those are all the same. Uh, five six seven eight is controller. So it says values. Um, five six seven and eight are the controller axes. Value nine is look. Uh, yeah, so it looks like the controller axes are just the only thing on there. So you put in your controller axes on um, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I've never used one, so I can't offer much insight. So all of the controller buttons here, I'm not sure what they tune up to. So I'd look uh, somebody who's used them before because I've never used the HOTA seat. So I'm not sure, but... Uh, but yeah, so I would go looking for somebody who's already uh, utilized it because I have no clue, frankly.
Let me just uh, get ready for a wrap up here. Uh, so thank you to uh, Side of Mountain, FS Gamer, Connor Boyle, Danny, 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 Miles World, Sergeant Chaos, Aaron Repairs All, and Citrus for being members. If you uh interested in that, you can go down in the description below. Uh, thank you to Chicken Tour for being a patron also down in the description below. Thank you to all the subscribers, and uh, thank you to all you guys for watching. So I will see you guys later.